Hi guys, FIFA fan 0511 here with my second episode of the Luck of a Draw series. So this is the first part, for those of you who don't know, basically I buy two packs. The best player out of each one I then make a hybrid of uh, those two and uh, yeah, we'll just play a few games of it, we'll play 10 games of it and see who the best player of the team is and how they are to use. So this is the first part of this episode and I'm just going to quickly open the two packs. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. First pack. I've been getting quite lucky at Higuain on the front, so who knows what's inside. Uh, right, now I have a choice here. Do I go with Rio Ferdinand or Freddy Guarin? Uh, I, I'm going to go with Guarin because, let's face it, Gua, Gua, Guarin's going to be an absolute uh, beast to use. Uh, quick sell Ferdinand because he's shit. Uh, quick sell for Fana. Keep all the contracts. And right, now let's get into the second pack. And hopefully not or get someone decent from another league right here we go Aguara number first second okay okay so the team is going to be around Freddy Guarin and Luis Adriano who surprisingly in the Champions League after uh, I think four I think four games at the moment has had nine goals a season which is impressive so hopefully he can be as impressive on this game. So, so yeah, the hybrid is going to be around Freddy Guarin and Luis Adriano. And I'll be back after I've played my 10 games and show you what squad I use. Alright guys, I am back. And basically, here is the team I came up with around uh, Luis Adriano and Freddy Guarin. So I'm going to quickly go into detail, you'll see a bit more about it um, while I do my review in a second. So, in goal we have Simon Mignolet, 82 rated place for Liverpool from Belgium. Uh, key stats, 84 diving and 84 reflexes and he costs us 1,200 coins. At right back, we have Dario Serna, 79 rated, played for Shakhtar Donetsk from Croatia. He's very well rounded with his best at being 84 passing. I will say now that since 10 games played, one of them dropped out for kickoff and two of them quit early, so it's about 8.5 to 9. So, yeah. Um, anyways, 10 games played, I did get an assist in supposedly 10 games, but it's 9. Um, right centre back, we have Dejan Lovren, 79 rated, plays for Croatia, no, plays for Liverpool from Croatia. Uh, key stats 81 defending and 81 physical, uh, cost 750 coins and got us 2 assists. At left centre back, we have Mamadou Saka, 81 rated place for Liverpool from France. Key stats 80 defending and 83 physical. It cost us 1,600 coins and failed to get both a goal and an assist in our 10 games. At left back, we have Patrice Evra, um, 80 rated plays for Juventus from France. Key stat there 79 pace and 79 defending. Um, it cost us 3,900 coins and got us one assist in this time of us. At holding midfield, we have Hernanes, 82 rated, plays for Inter Milan from Brazil, and his key stats 84 dribbling, 83 passing, 5 star weak foot four slot skills. Uh, he cost us 3,500 coins and failed to get either a goal or an assist in our in our games. At right centre mid, we have Douglas Costa, normally a centre attacking mid, um, 80 rated, plays for Shakhtar Donetsk from Brazil, Eight, key stats 85 pace, 84 dribbling, and 5 star skills. Uh, cost us 3,500 coins and did get two goals and one assist. At left centre mid, we have Freddy Guarin, 79 rated, plays for Inter Milan from Gu uh, Colombia, was the, um, the uh, first or second player. He's one of the players I've got in the pack anyway. Key stats an 81 triple and 85 physical, four star skills. As you can see, obviously, it's our first owner, but it only costs like, about a couple of grand and got us one goal and one assist. At centre attack in mid, then we have Edda. 75 rated plays for Sampdoria from Brazil. Key stats 82 pace, 78 dribbling, and 4 star weak foot. And it costs us 1,300 coins at centre attack in mid. Well, centre forward, I had to put him back to centre attack in mid. And got us 3 goals and 2 assists. Up top, then at right striker, we have Luis Adriano. The other player we got in a pack. 76 rated plays for Shakhtar to Nats from Brazil. And obviously, that first day, the key stat 78 pace and 76 dribbling, and it gets four goals and four assists. At left striker, then we have none other than Victor Barbo. 75 rated plays for Cagliari from Colombia, key stats 91 pace, 80 dribbling, and four slash skills. Cost us 4,100 coins and got us 12 goals and three assists in the time of us. So, that's the team. I'm now going to move on to a uh, the match rating review and who the best players. 
Hi guys, so um, now in this part of the episode, I'm going to give my opinion on the team. Um, I will say I've this opinion's been done about a month, so maybe things are missing out. But yeah, I'll start off with the goalkeeper. Now, Minule, um he was one of his goalkeepers, but he was fairly consistent. Uh, but when he had a bad game, he was dreadful, and when he played well, he played incredibly well. So. So yeah, that's all I have to say really about um, him really and you've kind of got to be in a certain mood and have a very solid back four in front of him to be able to get away with just having him there. At right back, well, let's talk about full backs then. Serna and Evera were very good for me, two full backs are very light, very well rounded, it's particularly Evera, I hadn't used him I think for a couple of FIFAs but I did really like him despite his pace starting to go down a bit now and stuff like that. He is still a very solid um, fullback. In the middle of defence then, Sacco and Lovren. Lovren I felt was very poorly disciplined um, and I felt that he could have been, he was quite sloppy. Uh, Sacco I felt he was incredibly solid throughout so so yeah pretty much um, he is one of my favourite centre backs and still is after using this team. In a defensive mid, um, Hernanez, you could tell he wasn't naturally a defensive midfielder. Um, I mean, when they managed to get him forward, he was quite lethal and uh, could create stuff. But to be honest, you can tell that um, playing him defensive midfield is just way too deep for him and way too deep for where he normally is positioned. Um, in the middle of centre mid, again, um, Guarin was... Gorham was awesome out there to be perfectly honest. Work rates were brilliant and he just got up and back all the time as and when he needed them to. Um Douglas Costa I felt was very skillful given the chance to go forward. Um but didn't he just didn't feel good enough defensively and like Hernandez he was way too far back. Um at attacking mid then Edda, one of the players we got in our pack, I believe. Wait, no, we didn't. I um, can't remember. We got in fact. Oh, yeah, it's Guarin and Adriano. Um, but Edda, I had loads of players I could have chosen from, but I did choose Edda over Hernanes playing there. But I'm glad I did because even though he didn't have four-star skills anymore, I don't think he was. He was just very good dribbling-wise, good on the ball, and he was tough for the defenders to um, get off the ball. Really, up front then, Adriano. I felt his dribbling was good, fairly good in front of goal, but. Um, all his goals seem to come right at the start of the my time with him, which ironically links to Barbe. Now, as you saw there, he had 12 goals in 10 games, and you will be shot by his match rating. But um, he didn't score until like six or seven games in, and then he had three or four games where he scored three or four or five goals a game, and that's where his sudden goal boost came up. Overall, then with this team, I felt it had a good, it was good going forward, although maybe could have done with a bit more threat. Uh, a, as to Luis Adriano and um, defensively it was very solid but I think midfield were just majority of them were two attacking minded players playing too deep and I think that's where I was mainly let down so now I'm going to go into the average match ratings and the ranking for these players so um, in 11th place we have Patrice Evra um, it had an average match rating of 6.09 and I felt a bit shocked by this because he was very, um, yeah, he was a very good player. And I just don't think 6.09 and 11th place was a fair representation. At 10th, we had Hernanes. Um, this isn't actually that shocking based on the fact that I had said that he played too deep. Um, I felt that if I had played him more attacking, he could have been arguably one of our best players. But again, that goes for the same with the uh, Douglas Costa. At ninth then we have uh, Mamadou Sacco. Um, I felt that this one's a shock as well because um, I felt that he was um, probably our second best defender um, to Dario Serna. Um, I thought he, I felt he was a lot uh, better than Dejan Lovren as well and was just more of a solid centre back than him and more reliable going forward as well. At eighth position we have Freddie Guarin. Um, again, I just don't think. I think the formation was too narrow. He's better at just bringing it in and then pl distributing it out wide or playing it over the top. And it wasn't easy all the time. So 6.47 in 8th place is probably fair. In 7th then, we have Dejan Lovren, who, like I just said, was uh, he did have poor discipline. Um, 
His tackles were sloppy, um, and when there was a defender, when there was a fast striker running towards you, like a bomber who I had a couple of times, um, I felt more comfortable with Sacco dealing against not just pace but physically as well. In sixth place, we have Douglas Costa. Um, like Hernandez, I just felt he was playing too deep. When he was on the ball, he was very skillful, and I feel that later on in the series, I do want to use him as, attack, as an attacking mid or a centre forward. Or just somewhere I can get more freedom with him. In fifth place, we have Dario Serna. Now, I've used him a last two FIFAs now. He is um, very well rounded, particularly his inform cards that he got last FIFA. And he was a, it was just a good player to use and a very solid right back. He, um, the only downside I'd say to him were like nationality and league links, but I mean, I got away a bit of Lovren. In third position, then, we have, or fourth, sorry. We do have Edda. Um, again, his stats are very underrated. I mean, when he got a ball, his finishing was absolutely superb. I mean, you see a couple. Go- you see one of the goals in the clip there, where he just cut it round a few players and just took it so well. In third, we had Luis Adriano, um, our second player that we packed. Um, considering he only had four goals in nine games, he he did well. I think you just. He had a lot of chances, and I think if you put a few more of them away, then he could easily be maybe even number one. At second, we have Simon Minule, which is a bit of a surprise, but like I said, when he had a good game, he had a really good game, um, and just played outstanding at those particular times. And there were uh, two or three of those incidences. So, yeah, that's why I feel that he is probably right at second. And first is Victor Barbo. Like I said earlier, it did take him six or seven games without scoring and then suddenly finishing off with 12 and 9, which was ridiculous. So, yeah. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.